Good day everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and for this week, we're gonna talk about Triangle Congruence Postulate. MELK 25 illustrates the SAS, ASA, SSS, AAS congruence and postulates. For our objectives, A. Illustrate and state the congruence postulate. B. Show congruence in triangles using SAS, ASA, SSS, and AAS congruence postulates through markings. C. Apply the concept of triangle congruence postulates in real-life situation by identifying congruent triangles in the community. So here is the idea of a congruence. I have here two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. So two geometric figures with exactly the same size and shape. So how much do you need to know about two triangles to prove that they are congruent? Now let's talk about corresponding parts. So in our previous lesson, you learned that if all six pairs of corresponding parts, the sides and angles are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. So let's have an example. I have here triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Now, let's name the corresponding sides. Okay, so we have side AB is congruent to side DE. Another, we have side BC is congruent to side EF. Last, side AC is congruent to side DF. Now, how about the corresponding angles? So first, we have angle BAC is congruent to angle EDF. Next, we have angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF. Last congruent angle, we have angle ACB is congruent to angle DF. E. Alright, since we already have the six pairs of corresponding parts, therefore we conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Alright? Do you need all six? Alright, no. We say that two triangles are congruent if the six corresponding parts are congruent, right? However, we can have congruent triangles without showing all the corresponding parts of the two triangles congruent. And that is by the use of triangle congruence postulates. We have SSS, SAS, ASE, and AAS postulates. So this postulates will indicate a condition for any two triangles to be congruent. Okay? Now, let's discuss side, side, side or SSS postulate. From the name itself, we know that it deals with the three sides of a triangle. Let's have an example. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Let's name the three corresponding sides of the given two triangles. So first, side AB is congruent to side DE. Side BC is congruent to side EF. What else? Side AC is congruent to side DF. So therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Always remember, side, side, side or SSS postulate. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Alright, 
Now, let's discuss side angle side or SAS partially. I have here two triangles, triangle ABC and DEF. First, let's name one corresponding side. We have side AB is congruent to side DE. Next, the angle. Angle BAC is congruent to angle EDF or this is what we call the included angle. When we say included angle, this is the angle formed by two given sides. So, tingnan natin yung ating first triangle which is triangle ABC. Angle A is the included angle of side AB and side AC. Now, how about the second triangle? We have triangle DEF. So, angle D is the included angle of side DE and side DF. Alright? Now, let's name another one corresponding side. We have side AC is congruent to side DF. So, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D, E, F. So, in order to use the side angle side postulate, we must be able to identify the appropriate sides and angles. Okay? So, I have here another example of included angle for you to easily understand. So, included angle, the angle between two sides. So, for the first figure, the included angle is here. So, we have angle IGH. How about the second figure? So, here, so we have angle GIH. And the third figure, we have here angle GHI. Alright, very good. Now, your turn. You need to name the included angle of this given triangle YES. So, first, side YE and side ES. Name the included angle. Very good. Angle E or angle YES. How about side ES and side YS? Name the included angle. Okay. Angle S or angle ESY. How about side SY and side YE? Okay, angle Y or angle SYE is the included angle. Very good. So, in our example, always remember, side angle side states that if two sides and the included angle of a triangle are congruent to two sides and included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Next, angle side angle or ASA. Given the two triangles, let's name one of the corresponding angle. So, we have here angle BAC is congruent to angle EDF. Next, let's name one of the included sides. So, when we say included side, this is the side whose endpoints are the vertices of the two given angles. So, we have Side AB is congruent to side BE. Next, again, one of the corresponding angle. So, we have angle ABC is congruent to angle BEF. So, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. When we say included side, this is the side between two angles. Let's take an example. For our first figure, the included side here is all right very good line segment gi how about our second figure what is the included side the included side is side h i how about in our third figure side g h very good now your turn Name the included side in this given figure. First, angle EYS and angle YES. The included side is... Alright. Side YE or line segment YE. How about angle YES and angle 
S E. All right. Side E S. How about angle Y S E and angle S Y E? All right, very good. Side S Y. Now, angle side angle or ASA states that if two angles and the included side of a triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. And last, angle angle side or AAS. Again, we have two triangles, triangle ABC and D. Now, let's name one of the corresponding angle. We have angle BAC is congruent to angle EDF. Another corresponding angle, angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF. And how about the side? We have line segment BC is congruent to line segment EF or this is what we call non-included side. Therefore, Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay? Always remember that angle angle side or AAS, it states that if two angles and the non-included side of one triangles are congruent, just to summarize, we only have four congruent postulates. SSS, ASA, SAS, and AAS correspondence. Remember, SSA correspondence does not work. The same with AAA correspondence. Okay? For your practice, name that postulate. You can pause this video for you to have enough time. For number one, your answer is very good. S A S partially. Second, the right answer is all right. A S A partially. Number three. Okay, S S A. Remember, SSA does not work. Number four. Very good. SSS postulate. Number five. Correct. We have reflexive property and the postulate is SAS. Number six. Correct, we have vertical angles and SAS partially. Number seven. Very good, another vertical angles and SAS partially. And for number eight, very good, we have reflexive property and that is SSA. Again, SSA does not work and it is not included in our postulates. That's all for today, great students. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.